My poem Cyberscript Cyber Sniper has recently received an update I have pretty much had to make due to a couple of third issues that have been going around in Souls RNG servers. And also, I have delivered a couple of improvements to make the script better and easier to use. So in this video, I'll tell you guys about all of this and then answer a couple of you guys' huh? questions on this script. So if you guys don't know our Cyber Sniper, it's basically a script that goes into the Souls RNG Discord and snipes biomes instantly as they are posted. Full explanations in the other video and oh no it's happening again guys no so because this is a quite urgent update i urge you guys to please go back to the website in the video cyber.gonet.ie to download the script again with the new 1.2 version so why did i have to show out all of the downloads for this one thing well the thing is the webhooks in the script pinged everyone in the server as i originally intended it to be put into your own server with only one person in it but i'm not sure if everyone's truly watching the video to the max where they just didn't even see it at all. So for that, people are actually adding this webhook to glitch on servers with like probably thousands of people in them. And it basically meant that are thousands of people were getting you? randomly pinged that Cyber Cypher was being now? added you to the webhook. Right and now? I personally did this to be in your own server. So if that you were using an alt webhook, everyone would be pinged. But I don't think we could really do that anymore. This is why I shut down downloads so I could kind of cancel out any other issues like this happening again. Downloads are, are up again, of course. But in this version, it only pings the account with the token added. So if you're using it all, sorry, too bad. But if you are using the same account that you're logged in and the same account that you're typing on, you should be good. You'll still get pinged. And because of this, you'll now be able to add it to basically any webhook without disturbing anyone, even with it looking a bit nicer. So, just a bit of clarification for all the Glitchwood server owners. This only hunts in the Souls RNG Biomes and Merchants channel. It does not touch your Glitchwood server. It means that anyone is allowed to add the webhook to their thing if it's not against anything. It should not harm anything in the Glitchwood server. And the thing is, I have actually been banned to the server for making this type script, which I don't really care too much about. It's not that bad, but keep in your mind that you shouldn't really be flexing that you're using it too much or some people might get mad because it's still a little bit unclear. If you're unfairly banned because apparently you're using it to quote unquote hunt in the servers, even though it literally can't do that, please contact the server owner to tell them to unban you if you're actually unfairly banned. So what are the new changes? So pretty much I've yeah. reworked the webhook system. Just like I said, it pings your one user and the thing is the webhook has now been pretty much completely changed in style so now the now notorious cyber sniper add to webhook just doesn't ping anyone now it looks like this it looks a lot nicer with rich embeds time's right here and now let's go down to when it actually snipes the server so this time we have the specific user pinged it tells you what term you sniped like last time but this time it gives you a link so if anyone checks your webhook if it's something low stakes like starfall they'll probably be able to really quickly join you without joining the soul server which is a bit pointless and of course the time's a little nicer using discord timestamps and another pretty good thing is that if you snipe a server you do not have to relaunch cyber sniper at all but there is a slight caveat to this when you are sniping you cannot really do anything as it says sniping in progress it might go white like this that is because while this is happening i cannot close this window because python cannot do multiple things at a time while it's doing this it cannot close this so pretty much to be able to use this you have to wait until it disappears it might come in a future update where this is fixed this window should disappear or it should just say sniping in progress with a progress bar that will come in a future update just like i said before if it says this just put it in the background and ignore it and we'll just wait to join the server like usual or i'll show you that it still works and i'm Me. being absolutely surrounded it's one of Me. these servers again guys this is just chaotic I don't even have to start a PvP war, which will happen in the next video. And this happened. And I'm being blasted by copyright music, which you guys won't be hearing, I'm sorry. The UI has also been slightly updated to just say this instead. It doesn't show you any of the discord.py, that's self notifications. Just to be a little simpler. And it does clear out every single time you've sniped something. I'm gonna snipe this merchant while I wait. Will it have a void coin? It will not. Yeah, I guessed it. And someone just pulled the Genesis pretty random but while i'm just showing this i might as well answer a couple of commonly asked questions just because there are a couple so we might as well just get into our comments so 
can I join a game while waiting to snipe? If you are in the UWP version, you could technically still be in game while sniping. You just have to make sure you're in the version. It could do some weird same account, lots of different device stuff. If you're hunting on an alt account and you're on your main or another account, it's fine. But just keep in mind if you're hunting on the same account, you're trying to stay still in. It's a bit risky. And will there be a mobile version? Now to do this, I have to create a completely new app for the script. Learn a lot of extra things to try change it a little bit. And this would take a while and I don't have any infinite time in real life to do this so I might not really be able to do it too quickly. I will do it at some point when I actually do have time. It might even be in two months of recording this video, I have no idea. Now are these hacks? Because a lot of people think that these are some kind of exploits, which they are not. This does not inject into the Roblox client at all. Reads it does not work like one of them Roblox hacks. All that does is read from the Discord API, which basically anyone can use. Your Discord app actually does this on a daily basis. So this is completely fair to use, pretty much, so you should be good. And we found Probably a sandstorm. Yup, it was a sandstorm that it sniped. As you can see, it still exists. We could just press start again. It, it just found another server. Like I showed you guys, you can still do it. It'll just say closing latest session if you instantly join. And this is a corruption. That's pretty much proof that it does work multiple times. Now, can you use it on other Discord servers? Now, you weren't able to use it on old versions, but you should be able to if they do allow other webhooks. Now, that only pings one user. Remember to install the newest version, though. Now, if you mean if it could snipe at other Discord servers, no, because the server owners would get mad. Now, there are a lot of people asking if they could just use the normal Roblox game client. Now, you cannot do this because only the UWP Windows app supports the instant launching Roblox protocol. So, I highly recommend just setting the Roblox protocol as just Roblox. Also on Windows 10, it might be changed. Default up by protocol, not by link type. But it will be the small Roblox logo, where there's the same wood, but with the word just Roblox, without any game client stuff. Which means no block strap, sadly. Also, this currently isn't available on macOS. I'm not sure how difficult it would be to build this on macOS. Not sure if it's really possible. I could try it, but could take a little tinkering. And I'm not even sure if it's possible in the first place, so no false promises here. And on launch, if it says that, that the data files don't exist, that means you are launching it for the first time, which is creating everything that basically saves all of your webhooks so you don't have to type in it every time. And also, why does it require a Discord token? I'm just going to say again, it is because the Discord API requires a Discord token. Without it, it would not know what account it would be using, which means I would not be able to get messages. Without a Discord token, Discord would probably not exist. It would have probably already exploded. So Discord tokens are very important. All right, and those are pretty much all the questions that we have. So why did I even make this type script in the first place? Just like kind of bonus round. This is because I kind of wanted to give everyone the power to instantly join good servers. It was kind of gate kept. Not many people knew about it. I just want everyone to know about this. Anyone to instantly join servers and not to rely on glitch snipers. Which are mostly safe. Except that one instant where someone just deleted everyone's auras. So this is why I did it. So everyone could glitch snipe on their own. Just to be slightly safe. They might still have better PCs though. But in general, hunting will be made more fair because of this. Also, I of course wanted to make my own script after that November video where I basically told everyone that this exists and made everyone make them snipe scripts. I guess I just wanted a piece of the pie myself. So that's it. Remember to download the new version of Cyber Sniper if you haven't already to make sure that you can actually add it to the other servers without it spam pinging everyone. Please remember this. I don't want glitch on servers to be spammed. But anyway, please like and subscribe if you guys already found glitch biomes of this script. And if you want, you can just send me clips with you using Cyber Sniper to find the glitch biomes. And well, goodbye.